Hey, thanks for taking a little bit of time to watch this video. I just want to make a quick announcement to remind everyone about Seek Healing safety protocols in case it ever feels like something that you need. We've set up Seek Healing with some really specific systems and confidentiality clauses to help us support each other in community without having to sound the alarm or get someone involuntarily committed, but also taking really seriously the responsibility of holding space for those of us who are working through really serious trauma. We've created this community intentionally to help each other get help with serious situations in a loving way that ensures everyone remains safe and held while still refraining from trying to fix or save anyone. First, I want everyone to remember that we have a needs system that you can activate anytime by emailing needs at seekhealing.org or filling out the form at seekhealing.org slash needs. And one way that you could use a system would be to presence a need for someone who's acutely isolated, someone who's needing a meal delivery, maybe they just got out of the hospital, or maybe someone you know who recently returned to using IV drugs and needs Narcan. For needs like these, checking in one-on-one -on -one to say, hey, it sounds like you're in a really tough spot. Would you be open to receiving a check-in or a delivery from a community member? Usually lands really well. And the process of asking for that consent creates trust and kind of immediate enrollment in the idea of receiving. You can fill out the form for yourself or for someone you know who needs help. The number one thing to remember when activating the system on behalf of someone else is to have their consent. Once you've asked for the person's permission, please be sure to utilize the needs system that's available to let your local team, fellow facilitators, and or space owls know about the person's needs so that the community can show up for them in a way that will be meaningful and supportive. If you have a concern that a seeker, a friend of yours, may be in a position to potentially cause harm to themselves or others, you can activate the same system in order to create some safety around that situation. or so either using the needs system through those forms, or you can simply just have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a Seek Healing team member or someone else who practices facilitation within the community. In this case, you should still let the person know that you're feeling care and concern for them and that you're going to let someone else in the community know so that we know what's going on and can take care of them. This is fully uh, within our agreements as a community. Uh, because all of us have already given consent for that kind of conversation to take place when we signed our uh, participation waiver to get started with Seek Healing. In that waiver, we agree to community support and check-ins around this type of need. The confidentiality section in the Seek Healing participation waiver explains two key things. The first is that your personal information will always be kept strictly confidential and that Seek Healing will never share that uh, information with anyone outside the organization. So that means that no one within the Seek Healing team will ever confirm or deny that you are even involved in Seek Healing if someone asks, unless you specify uh, an individual or an organization in the release section on that final page of the waiver. The confidentiality section also gives the Seek Healing team, facilitators, and service providers, commonly known as connection agents, a specific second permission to share information as it pertains to safety and supporting each other in community. If you share that you might cause harm to anyone, yourself included, someone from the team or another seeker may check in with you about it later, but will never alert anyone outside the organization. Suicide, self-harm, and return to IV drug use are all very serious situations. It's mission critical that we maintain Seek Healing meetings and spaces as a place where people truly can talk about these things without fear of judgment or getting locked up and committed. And also, we must take care with each other's safety first and foremost. So my invitation to all of us is to, when these situations come up, gently activate the non-invasive systems that Seek Healing has in place for community care around these sensitive issues and remember that first and foremost, we're here to connect with each other and really hear what's going on with the people that we care about. Thanks.